Welcome back to the very first episode of Swoop News, where we talk about all things Swoop and news. It sure isn't news, but it is Swoop. We got all kinds of fun things in store for you today. We got interviews, we got Swoop on the street, and some upcoming teasers at our upcoming shows. So stay tuned and Swoop right into this news. Let's take it away. Words. There he goes. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I guess we're starting now. Uh, things have been getting crazy in Florida. One, one man um, threw an alligator through a drive through window at Wendy's. This is the suspect. The suspect was apprehended at McDonald's across the street. Florida man was concerned that people aren't watching sports. He's starting an online petition to get sports in all schools, mandatory in all schools, according to a report done by Swoop. He's determined to get sports on the world stage. The world stage? Really? Suspect did not want to agree to an interview, unfortunately. Breaking report. Green suit man spotted around campus. If you've seen him, just know he's green and he loves to dance. We have a couple photos of Green Suit Man being spotted around campus. And if you've seen this man, please report him to Swoop. Bring him back. We miss him. We please. do miss him, and we want him to come back. Now over to the host of Supernatural Archives for an exclusive interview. Okay. So you're cutting how much of our funding? All of it? Okay, we, we understand, we understand that you're bad. Sorry, sorry, David. Let's get back to the interview. Oh, we're live, we're live. Um, hi, welcome back to Swoop News. We got an interview today with Spinnaker's very own host of Supernatural Archives, uh, David Green. Please welcome to the show, David. So, David, we're going to be talking about your very recent show that you just put out, uh, The Lost Trail, which premiered on our Spinnaker TV YouTube channel. Tell us a little bit about that. What was the inspiration? What was the trail? What drew you there? So, uh, I grew up in um, a sort of southern area, and my mom and dad um, have friends and family friends who own a ranch down in Corkscrew, and we decided that uh, when we were very young, we were going to go there and just spend time at the ranch and it can, kind of connected me and my sister to nature and I loved just walking around the nature trails and all of that and when UNF had nature trails I thought that that was uh, amazing because I really wanted to um, go on those and just walk around and I thought that it would be a good idea to um, have a scary story that revolves around um, the nature trails so I thought that it would be a good idea to do something like that. Okay. Now, Davis, you said that on your Spinnaker show, right, you have three episodes out so far. Mm -hmm. Fourth episode's coming up. It's going to be a big one, a big reveal. People are going to be really excited for it. So can you give any, us any bit of a teaser of what's coming next for Supernatural Archives? So this next episode of Supernatural Archives involves um, one of the residence halls on UNF's campus. Um, one that is very far away from the actual normal campus. So it will be, it'll be a special one for sure. Special one indeed. Well, well, Dagwood, I really appreciate you coming on the show today. But we got one last final question for you. So, you know, everyone's got it on their mind. Supernatural Archives, big, one of our biggest shows right now up there with 904 and Flix. Big things are coming from you. What can we expect from you next, Dartboard? Um... So in terms of after episode four, episode five is going to be something that uh, I personally feel is one of the scariest stories that I've ever seen. Um, it's a creature created by Canadian horror artist uh, Trevor Henderson. And he is very well known for his, um, for his creatures and all of the scary stories that he creates. So I'm really excited to do uh, scary story on him. Fantastic. Well, that's all very exciting, but it's not just that, because we got more. 
Spinnaker is very excited to announce that we have a brand new show coming to our show. So, let's take it away. Roll that teaser. My father always used to tell me ghost stories. I didn't think they were real. I don't know what they are, but we're going to find them. There's mysteries out there. We'll have to dive into the depths of the unknown. They said these creatures were stories. But what if they're real? It's gonna be really good. I'm excited for that one. I think everyone here at UNF is gonna love that new show. Brand new, completely original concept. We're loving it up here. What do you think? That's a copy of my show, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, no, archives no, no, of the no, Supernatural, it's, it's, Supernatural it's, Archives? It's, you know, it's Archives of the Supernatural. They're a ghost hunter show. Completely different. No, no, don't worry. They got the copyright for it and everything. It's all completely legal, above board. We're all very excited for the show here at Spinnaker, and we cannot wait to bring it to you and swoop it in to Spinnaker TV. So. Stay tuned for that coming summer 2023. And now, on to our next segment, where we got Swoop on the Street with Gray. I'm out of here, dude. Where are you going? Darwin. Hey guys, this is Gray with, wait, what's, what's this show called again? Swoop on the Street. We're asking important questions today. See if we can find somebody. Hey, you, what are your thoughts on morph suits? They scare the shit out of me. I hope you don't see any of them today. I hope so too. <laughs> We're behind you. Find the second person to interview. Oh, I see somebody. Hey, what are your opinions on morph suits? The morph suits. So much fashion. I have like three colors at home. Have you seen one? I mean, I have if you want to take a peek behind you right now. What? Oh yeah, for sure fashionable out here. Like you see yourself right now, you look great. It's green is a really good, I just saw a bug land on your face, but like you didn't feel that. All right, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Yeah. Why me? Because I'm interviewing you. Oh, well, it's Megamind. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, I love Megamind. Really? Oh my Tell me all about it, girl. My, so I watched it when it came out in like 2010, right? Perfect. And I'm with my family. Oscar worthy. It is. Fantastic. Are you kidding? Will Ferrell, oh. Megamind. Are you kidding? Love. That's, like, that's not even Elvis's best movie. Did you know Megamind is. that his mind is mega? Oh my God, really? I know. It's like, <laughs> so crazy. Yeah. He's got a giant blue head. Yeah. I mean, are you kidding? It's like Oscar worthy. Like it the is. cinematic it masterpiece that is Megamind. People will never understand. You want to know the worst thing about it? What's the worst thing about it? It came out the same year as Despicable Me. And everybody was obsessed with Despicable Me. But this movie is so much better. It was both of them. Both of them, get this, are movies. <laughs> You're so sad. I see that. This both of a them, tragic time. Both of them are movies where <laughs> the the villain is like the hero in the end. Yeah. So it's like so sad because everyone loved Despicable Me, loved but Megamind is so much better. No one liked Megamind. And no one liked Megamind as much as they should have. Like it did not get as much recognition as it really should have. It's just but a tragic time. It is. It was so. And both of them have minions. I know. Minion. Minion's one of my favorite characters in I Megamind, know. but Minion as the real minion, like the, the, what's it called? The banana one. Yeah. I hate the banana minion. I hate him. Facebook moms use banana. I hate him. What's your opinion on minions? Despicable Me is the worst movie in the world because it competed with the best. It did. And everyone liked Despicable Me, but nobody liked Megamind. I know. It was terrible. It deserved an Oscar. Yeah. Did Despicable Me get an Oscar? 
I got Probably. all of them. I think you got all of them all Mega at Mind once. Megamind got zero. I know. And I that's why know. the system is flawed. I think it's just a bunch of old men that have no idea what they're thinking about. I don't want to talk about this anymore. No, wait. But we Megamind, it's the best movie. Attention all UNF Ospreys. Ozzy Osprey needs your help. He wants to fly and get to the Osprey shuttle before it leaves so he can get to Starbucks and get that Frappuccino. But to do this, he needs some bigger wings and an Osprey One card. To help him, all he needs is your credit card number, those three fun little digits on the back, and the expiration date and year. But you gotta be quick so that Ozzy can swoop his way to victory and get back to his nest in time for dinner. Swoop! Thank you all so much for watching Swoop News. It's been an exciting look into all things Swoop and news. And remember, Ospreys, don't forget. Whoa. How, how could you? Max, you, you forgot about sports. Shit. What are you talking about? Come on. Max, you always forget about sports. What do you mean you forget about sports? Hey, what are you talking I'm about? Sick Rose, I'm sick of it. I'm sick. Where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? Come back. Riley, come back. Where are you going? Riley, what are you doing? Riley, stop. Riley, come on. Riley? Riley! Well, Ospreys, this has been a very special episode of Swift News. Thank you all so much for joining. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to check out more stuff from Spinnaker and Swift News, you can follow us at UNF Spinnaker and Spinnaker TV on YouTube. This has been Max McBride and David Green. Don't forget to swoop. Swoop! Funny, you guys know what's funny is we got the green screen suit and we did a ton of stuff with it but we didn't actually do the green screen with the green screen suit we did not, we did we did not. not. i love it <laughs>